Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are Chris and Joe. You know, I got a confession to make. I really desired to have Kima Pao. And guess what? I'm making Kima Pao. Actually, one of our subscribers have requested for Kima Mutter in the comment section. So I'm, I'm so glad I can make them happy too. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Come, let's get started. Okay, now let's start marinating the meat. This is a half kg uh, mutton keema. Mince, mince meat, half kg. I'm adding two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste, then half a teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder and some salt. Mix it and allow it to marinate for at least half an hour. Okay, now let's put the stove on. I've got this, let the pan get hot. I'll pour some oil. How many tablespoons of oil was that? About four tablespoons, I didn't, I forgot to tell. Okay, let the oil get hot now. Okay, the oil is hot. I'm putting uh, cinnamon sticks, two pieces, about four cloves and two bay leaves. These bay leaves are from our garden, fresh bay leaves. Okay, I've got uh, four chopped onions. Fry till lightly golden. Okay, the onions are slightly, lightly golden in color. Now let's add the keema. Or the mince. Ground the meat. mince, the ground meat. Let's break it nicely. Okay, fry the Fry the minced meat or the keema till the raw smell of ginger garlic uh, disappears. In the meanwhile, okay, I'll put it on medium. In the meanwhile, I'm going to grind this to a powder. I've got uh, one teaspoon of uh, cumin. I got a small piece of nutmeg. I've got four green cardamoms. I've got one black cardamom, and I've got about twenty peppercorns. And here I'm going. I've got a small bunch of uh, green coriander. And I've got three green chilies. These two I will grind together into a paste and this will be a powder. The meat is frying nicely. Now I'm going to add I'm, uh, two chopped tomatoes. Fry this. Can I add, uh, I'm adding uh, the paste that I made with the green coriander and green chilies together. So let's fry this for some time for 2-3 minutes. Okay, it's been, the meat has been uh, frying for 5 minutes. Okay, now let's add the powdered masala. Here I've got uh, chili powder, 1 teaspoon. I've got uh, coriander powder, 2 teaspoons. Mix it. And I've got uh, the spices which I ground to a powder. Okay, mix it nicely. We have mixed nicely all the powders and the green masala. Now let's cover and cook. Cover and cook on sim. For how long? For uh, about 10 minutes. Oh, I forgot to add salt. So let me add some salt as well. Remember we had added salt in the keema for marination. So add less salt now. Okay. Cover and allow it to cook on sim. Okay. Now 10 minutes have passed. Let's check the meat. Let's add the green peas. This is about one cup of food. Green peas, you can add uh, fresh green peas or frozen green peas. Mine is frozen green peas. I am adding one cup. Mince meat, you can use any uh, mince meat. You can eat uh, ground beef or lamb or mutton, whatever you can. It's available for you. You can use it. You need chicken. Ah, not chicken. Red meat, I have used red meat. So, <coughs> okay, I will add some water. It depends on the thickness that you want. I think this will be about half cup of water, or a little more than half. Okay. Cover and cook. 
for uh, five to six minutes. Okay. Now let us check the mince meat. Okay, it's it's been cooking for about five to six minutes. Now I'm adding about one teaspoon of garam masala powder. I've got uh, roasted kasuri methi. I've crushed it. It is one tablespoon. Lightly roast the kasuri methi. Mix it, and then add this. This is about half a cup of uh, dill, finely chopped dill. Uh, this is also called uh, in Hindi. I think it's called sepu. Some people call it suwa baji. So it's that it smells good. This is just optional. If it is available, you you all can use it. Otherwise, even without this, it still tastes good. Okay, let's mix it and cover and cook for another five minutes. Mix it well and cover and cook. Okay, now our keema has been cooking for some time. Now let's check. See the oil has come out. Let's turn off the flame. Come, let's eat together now. Chris, why don't you taste and let us know? Sure. Looks so nice. so inviting yeah let me help myself to a little lime and some onions onion rings yeah sure sure So delicious and yummy jo thank you chris if you have enjoyed watching this video please let us know in the comments below guys thanks for watching and before you go don't forget to like share subscribe and click the notification bell see you next sunday see you